everybody. This week we are going to be drawing and coloring a sloth. I want you to start out with really light lines because we're going to be doing some erasing and it will make it hard to erase if your lines are too dark. You're going to start with a circle with kind of like a point to the end of it. That's going to be our face and then kind of a potato shape. That's our sloth's head and body. From there we're going to add our sloth's arms. I'm going to draw one arm looping up, give it kind of a curl over for the hand, and then those ruffles are going to be the sloth's fur. You can't tell it yet, but our sloth is going to be holding onto a tree branch. That's why the paws are cupped. I'm bringing the second leg all the way up as high as the first one because both legs are holding on to the tree branch. Then again, showing the sloth's fur with the ruffles, I'm going to bring it all the way to the end of our potato shape. Now we need to erase. I didn't draw my lines as light as I should have, so it made it a little difficult to erase, which is why I wanted to remind you to draw light. Some parts, some parts were really easy, and some of them took me a long time to get them erased without erasing anything else. So I'm just gonna, I'm only going to erase the spots of the body that we covered with the legs, because with the with the sloth's arm and legs sticking up, you wouldn't be able to see that shape of the belly. And I accidentally erased my arm just a little bit, so I am going to need to go in and fill that in a second. So, let's wait in there. That's, yeah, I need to fill that one right there. All right, pretty good. Now, I'm going to draw the tree branch that my sloth is hanging on to. I'm going to start by connecting those two paws, because the sloth is holding on to the branch with both arms and legs. Then I'm going to make my tree branch pretty wide because it needs to look like it actually hold up a sloth. If it's really tiny, the sloth wouldn't hang on it because it wouldn't be secure. Now I'm going to take the branch back a little bit, but I'm not going to make the whole tree because my focus of my drawing is just my sloth. And then I'll do the same thing in the other direction. So as it got, since it got wider on one side, it needs to start to get thinner on the other. So I'm going to give it couple little smaller branches on this side and again I'm just gonna stop because I don't need to worry about finishing it. If you'll notice my lines aren't very straight. Trees have lots of little knots and wiggly spots and it's totally okay for your tree that you're drawing to have some wiggles. The next thing to do is to draw the arms and legs on the other side of the sloth's body. The sloth's hand on that side is reaching over the branch the other way so we would see the sloth's fingers and just a little bit of the top of the hand. Then I'm going to show the sloth's fur until I get to the arm and stop because we don't want to cover up the first arm. That would be kind of crazy looking. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the back leg. I'm going to curl it way up to the branch and then stop and show it peeking over the top of the branch with some fingers and toes and the little curl, and then I will show my sloth's fur again just till I reach the leg. Okay, now I'm going to move on to drawing the sloth's face. Sloths have an interesting thing about their eyes. They look huge and kind of droopy, but it's really a coloring around their eyes, kind of like raccoons have a color around their eyes to make it look like they have masks. So I'm going to draw this big teardrop shape, and then I'll go back in and draw the eyes later. I'm going to give my sloth a little triangle nose, then I'll fill in when I start coloring, and I think it's a happy sloth, so a little smile. All that's left to do is begin coloring. I'm going to color my tree branch a dark brown, then I'll move on to a lighter brown for my sloth, a tan for the sloth's face, and fill in his features with black.
I actually forgot that sloths have a little circle around their face where their fur is lighter in their face and darker around their face. So I had to go back and draw that in. And then I'm gonna fill in that circle and the fingers on the sloth a light tan color. All right, while I finish coloring my sloth, I wanna let you guys know that there is a Google form on the homepage of the Ideal Lab website. That form is helping me to understand what assignments you guys are liking, what you're enjoying, what you can do at home, and giving me a better idea of what we need to focus on and what's best for which grade levels. So that's right on the main page, that home page of the Ideal Lab website. I need you guys to fill that out. It's got a couple questions about what grade you're in, if you've been doing the weekly assignments, if you've done the optional, and just kind of lets me know what I need to be doing to help you guys out the best I can and be the most awesome Ideal Lab teacher ever. So help me out, go fill that out. If for some reason you can't see it or you can't access it or something's wrong, you guys can always just email me. Remember to email me, you can go to the About Me page find my mailbox and then click that picture of my mailbox and it'll automatically bring up my email for you. You can email me with questions about the form or pictures of your projects or anything that you need to share with me. It's going to be right there on my about me page. Alright, thank you guys for coming and drawing and coloring this sloth with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, fill out the Google form so I know what you guys like to draw next.